spring is in the air. 20 Major League Baseball teams have already required their pitchers and catchers to report to spring training. But some big names don't have a team to report to. Eric Chemi has that story. That's right, Kelly. So in a way, season starts right now. This is the beginning of the season. But the, two, the two biggest free agents in Major League Baseball, Bryce Harper and Manny Machado, they were expected to sign contracts worth 300 to 400 million dollars, but they still don't have those deals. So now the expectations have dropped to 200 to 300. Instead of a 10-year deal, maybe it's six years. Maybe it's let's do one year. A lot of players are complaining about this dryness in the free agent market. Even Justin Verlander tweeted about it yesterday. He's just one of many players complaining about these teams cutting back. But owners, general managers. They're like any business manager. They simply say, we're getting wiser about spending. We're getting more efficient. We're not wasting money. There's a lot of Wall Street influence in a lot of these baseball ownership groups, so they're watching their dollars more carefully. A lot of analytics guys. A lot of guys. analytics exactly. tell them that these 10-year deals are a crock of you-know-what. Exactly. Is that just because by the, they get older and then less effective? So think about a 26-year-old player, pretty good. 10 years later, he's 36. So usually, look at that chart. These are some of the biggest deals in the past. And generally, those players disappointed by the end of those deals. And so the numbers have been going down and down and down. Last year, you saw average salaries declined in Major League Baseball for the first time in a long time. Don't you think this is an interesting contrast to what we've seen in the NBA with all around the trade deadlines yes. and all of the contracts? And, and The players have all the power in the NBA because they matter so much relative to a five-person court. In baseball, you've got so many other players, so many other pitchers, that one player doesn't matter that much. It's better to hire a rookie for a couple million dollars than a big guy for $40 million. I'll take any of those contracts. Eric, <laughs> thank you. You got it. Uh